Right, this is the last one of the night. Uh, this is a vibrant forest. Uh, I think this is actually a... Oh, I've got my glasses, I can't see. These glasses are so old, it's just shit. Um, excuse my language. Um, Clapton Craft is who it's in a collaboration with. Um, I've got to say, I don't think I've ever heard of them. So, apologies to Clapton Craft. If uh, anybody knows anything about them, I just don't, I've not heard of them at all. Well, it's called Misty Woods. It's a hazy IPA at 6%. Um, oh, I'm sure there's something in here. Uh, Citra uh, for its unrelenting, juicy and pitchy tones and Simcoe because of its because it's fiery um oh god these glasses are so bad <clears throat> uh, fiery pine and stone fruit flavors a generous amount of wheat and the malt uh, bill provides a hefty body and fermentation on london fg fdg adds to its own stone fruit esters and rounds off this delicious brew there's a lot of information a lot of it <laughs> some of it i couldn't read just because of the bloody fact these are shitty old glasses and <laughs> unfortunately the only ones i've got thanks my other ones are breaking anyway should have washed that out really but uh oh god it was quite uh, quite dark. God, what is it with the head on everything tonight? Jesus. Everything's just been like ridiculous. Again. <clears throat> okay, that definitely smells piney. Um, piney and possibly bitter. God, just pine notes everywhere in that. It's, it has that kind of piney look as well. Sort of an amber, orange. Not not clear, but it's it's getting there. Hold it up to the light. You can start to see the light through it. It's kind of that amber. <clears throat> I can't believe the heads on these beers tonight. I mean, the Quintock Brewery, just uh, every can I've had from them, I think two last week and then one this week. The head's just been ridiculous on them. But now this as well. I've had a couple of vibrant forests not that long ago as well. And they weren't nothing like this. Yeah, it smells... <clears throat> That's that dark amber... Like a... I treacles of right kind of... But that kind of thing, like a dark amber, treacly kind of, slightly bitter smell to it. <clears throat> Slight caramel notes in there as well, maybe. Yeah. Hmm. It's not bad, not as, it's a little bit bitter, not as much as I thought. It kind of tastes, <laughs> excuse the pun, like a vibrant forest. <laughs> it really does. I used to go mountain biking when I was like, I don't know, late teens. And uh, we'd go down for all the, um, oh, back, this is back in Kent, but we'd... Um, Ride up the top of this like quite steep hill and then go down through all the forests and there was loads of pine forests through there and the smell that's all I'm getting is all those pine forests pine needles all over the floor like strong sappy sort of smell on the pine trees that's exactly what it tastes like like a vibrant forest I suppose so Excuse me, sorry. It's from my ploughman's pla um, 
pot that I was just eating a minute ago. Yeah, it, it, it's it's piney but not terrible. It's not bitter. There's not really any bitterness. It's just very piney. Um, yeah, it's got a very ambery. I don't know if treacle's the right word, but that kind of syrupy kind of tone, but not sweet. Hmm. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the, um, I think it was Gravity Wells, one that I had a couple of weeks ago. I thought I'd get, kept the can for that, but <clears throat> maybe I didn't. Oh yeah, I did that one. I ain't got my glasses on. Look at that, liquid plumbus. Um, it's a West Coast uh, India Pal. Well, it was a West Coast one, and it didn't taste very West Coasty at all. It wasn't bitter in the slightest. In fact, that had slightly creamy notes at the end. But other than that, very similar. Um, this is slightly more piney and a tiny bit of bitterness at the end, but. Otherwise, you know, take the creaminess out of this. It actually tastes very similar. So, yeah, it's not terrible. I'm not a huge can. A huge can. 